Hello, Stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from a gorgeous and very warm Menasha, Wisconsin. I am going to get you popped up here on my iPad so I can see your comments coming in. Let's see, I think I wanna leave it just like this. Ooh, I see Connie and Wanda's here and it says four other people. Hang tight, I'm gonna put that right up there. Let me change my glasses so I can read what's on my screen because I can't read with those other glasses on my screen. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend. I am happy to be here with you tonight. Um, we've still got some people outside right down there. <laughs> we had a bunch of people over today take advantage of this warm Wisconsin weather and we had a cookout and the kids swam and the adults swam and boy the bull we have a bull for our pool and it's this toy that you try to ride like a bull and um, the little kids can accomplish it pretty good but the big kids like me no way it's too hard <laughs> it's really funny though um, let's see what else today I made a fabulous dessert and it's like um, banana cream pie dessert. It's got a graham cracker crust and then um, cream cheese and whipped cream filling. And then I made homemade pudding. Oh, so good. Put the bananas in there and put some more um, of the cream cheese whipped topping on top and then some more sliced bananas on top. Okay, so this is from Molly. Molly said, Granny, that's what the kids call me. Granny, this is just like a piece of heaven in my mouth. <laughs> She's right, it was really good. So we had a new dessert today, that was delicious. And then I have to tell you that as Haley and Jared were leaving, I had to run upstairs and take a shower because I was kind of, you know, a hot mess. And um, I went downstairs just as they were getting ready to leave. And Haley's like, Dad lost the baby. <laughs> so apparently Haley was playing football with one of the little kids. And Steve had Val. And he told Haley, I have to go do something. Here's Val. But Haley didn't hear him. So she didn't pay any attention. And pretty soon she sees Steve and no Val. And she's like, where's Val? And she's like, I don't know. I told you to keep an eye on her. <laughs> so they lost the baby. Haley flips a lid, goes running down the driveway, and Val was in the garage. So Steve lost the baby. Oh my good lord. See now, if I would have been out there, none of that would have happened. <laughs> I'm glad everything turned out okay, right? And I told Haley, I said, this is not the first time, or no, I said, this is not the last time something like this will happen. So just... Be ready for that. I know you guys are laughing. It was pretty funny after the fact, but I probably would have been in a real hot panic myself. So what else is happening? Scott got his truck back. It got hit a couple of weeks ago right in front of our house. Somebody backed into it. You know, things happen. He got that all fixed and got it back. Um, I wanted to share with you guys. I have the Plentiful Plants online class. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can find a card here I can share with you. Um, this is a card we made last week. This is with all those plants that are hanging. So, so fun and pretty. I have um, these going out in the mail tomorrow morning for those of you that have already ordered this kit class. Anybody else would like it? I did make up some extras, so. You're going to find this on my blog, www.stampabove.com. Look for something that says online classes and click on that. This is called Plentiful Plants. Oh my goodness, so fun. Nine different cards and there's a couple fun folds in here to boot. It is an amazing class, if I do say so myself. Okay, um, celebration. You guys, August 3rd, we start another celebration. It lasts until the end of September. I'm super excited about this. I can't show you the inside of it yet, but August 3rd is when this starts. And the really cool part is during celebration, if you would like to join my team, you're going to get to choose $125 in any product you want with your kit to make up your kit for only $99, no shipping. You just pay tax on that. But there are 12, yes, 12 
bundles in the holiday mini catalog that you get to select from to add to your celebration starter kit, discount shopper kit for free. So there's a list of them in the celebration brochure. Now, if you guys um, don't have another demonstrator and you did not get this in the mail, let me know because I would be happy to mail the brochure to you and also the holiday mini catalog. So during the celebration, August 3rd through the end of September is gonna be a great time to join my team. I see Debbie saying, I love it, do it, do it. I know, right? Um, it's a lot of fun to be a discount shopper. There's a whole other world that I have going on behind the scenes with my team. Whether you wanna build a business or be a discount shopper, it makes no difference to me. It's all fun and you get to participate in everything that I have to offer. Um, can you join my fabulous team again? Wendy wants to know. Wendy, I'm pretty sure that your status, you're in good standing right now. So if you ever are not in good standing, you are more than welcome to join my team again. Okay, designer series paper sale. This is going on until um, August 2nd. So that's the last day for this. Tonight, we're going to be using, let me see, where's my... Tonight we're going to be using the In Symmetry, is that what it's called? Hang on. Sweet Symmetry. Sweet Symmetry Designer Series Paper, which is part of that sale. So don't forget, there's some beautiful Designer Series Paper in here, and the best way to get it is on sale, right? Yeah. Um, when you go to my online store, you will see right on the very first homepage in the online store, the sale items. So you can see, yeah. <laughs> Diana says, you can't beat the deals that Stampin' Up! is getting. No, you can't. Um, what else? John update. John um, had fishing poles out the other day and his grandson. So I assume they were going fishing. So that's really fun. That's my John update. I have one more tidbit. I told you that his father passed away a while back, which is sad. His father lives in the block behind us and um he talked to steve about and steve recommended my anna my stepdaughter anna she's a real estate agent here in the valley to help sell his father's house so look at how nice those connections are right yeah anywho um so we got that going on what else ladies and gentlemen we have bingo this wednesday um registration is closed for that I will be getting the bingo cards ready and the make and take packets. Bingo is really, really fun. It's a card class with a little bingo thrown in between. My next bingo is going to be August 25th. And registration for that will probably open up on the 11th of August. So watch for that. Always on my blog. Um, we're going to have a whole bunch of fun. Now, if you didn't register for bingo, you can still come to the class. It is on a YouTube Live, and um, it's open to the public. It's just that when you pay, you get a make-and-take packet with some fabulous product in it to make the make-and-takes um, for five different cards, and you get to play bingo in between with some amazing prizes. Make sure you check that out Wednesday night. I think it starts at 7 p.m. Central Time. Na, 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 na. Pretty sure, let me make sure. I'm always so terrible about remembering these types of things. No, I don't have it on here. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, I did. Nope, that's not it. But I'm pretty sure it's at 7 p.m. Central Time on Wednesday. Okay, let's see. The other class, I have the I have an in symmetry class that is also um, my kit class for the month. The Plentiful Plants is my online class that I do with Barb and Dina. If you ordered this from them, don't order it from me. It's the same thing. So we collaborate and do it together. And somebody said, thanks for my birthday. God, who is that? Um, I missed it. Janice said, bingo is so fun. There was a birthday here someplace. Thanks for my birthday wish. Marie, you are so welcome. Uh, July is a fabulous month for birthdays because like my family has a ton of them. Okay, I would like to request my numbers get put in the bingo pool this time. Mary Lynn, I am on it, sister. I will make sure that your numbers are in there. <laughs> um, let's see, in symmetry. We're going to be working with that a little bit tonight. And that is my kit class for the month. What you get with that is 
the Sweet Symmetry, a half a pack of the Designer Series paper that is this gorgeousness. You get a pack of the Elegant Faceted Gems and also a roll of Flirty Flamingo Metallic Ribbon. And this comes with eight make and take cards. So all the card stock cut to make four different designs, two of each. And can I just say that Haley designed my um, In Symmetry class. You guys know she works for me in the summer. She's a teacher. And she has just the most incredible talent. And she designed the cards for this In Symmetry class. And they are so, they're dripping with beauty. Just dripping with beauty. They're so, so pretty. So I can't hardly wait to share them with you. I will be cutting for that class probably tomorrow. And I'm just looking over here because I have things over here that remind me um, what's going on. I have two videos done. I have two more to do for that class. And then we'll be getting that all typed up and ready to roll too. Um, next week, let's see, today is July 25th. So next weekend, I will be camping with Haley and Jared and Val and Molly and Steve. So um, I'm going to be gone for a week camping. So I have a lot of things that I have to put into place before we get to leave. Um, yeah. <sighs> okay. I want to... Um, okay. I think I went through all my notes. I want to award prizes from last week. We have three different prizes that I give away every week. One is for commenting. So if you're new to me, please make sure that you leave at least one comment. And it could just be hello or hi from Bismarck, North Dakota, or wherever you'd like me to know you're from. <laughs> it can be fictitious too. Hi, Amy. Um, and when you comment, I enter you in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. Tonight, I have a silicone craft sheet. These are awesome for so many different things. It's one of those little workhorse tools that everybody should have. For commenting on my Facebook Live last week, we have Bonnie Diebel from Platteville, Colorado. This is on its way to you tomorrow morning, and I even have all of my stuff ready to be shipped. Winning! <laughs> All right, next up, I have sharing. When you share this video, and you can click on that share right now. It's someplace on your screen. You can share this right to your profile page on Facebook. If you're watching later on YouTube, please click on that share button, share it. Click on the bell so you'll get notifications, and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're watching later on YouTube. I have a whole pack of these ombre gift bags. There are 20 bags in here in our in-color colors. They're so, so pretty and so many fun projects you can do with these. For sharing last week, I have Lori Manicho from Amlin, Ohio. These are on their way to you. Also, I have some designer series paper and this is the Paper Blooms. I accidentally cut this wrong, but it's perfect for making card fronts and I am going to send it along with your prize because I'm nice like that. <laughs> I found a bunch of stuff that I need to go out of here and I thought, Lori, you're gonna love this. So that's what's on its way to Lori tomorrow. And one more prize that I give out is for placing an order within the last week and I have the Best Chapter stamp set. This is a great little stamp set with some wonderful sentiments in it. It's got wedding, congratulations, retirement, housewarming, smarty pants, welcome to parenthood, all kinds of great sentiments in here. For um, the person who won from placing an order in the last week is Sherry. Adams from Logan, Utah. This is on its way to you. And I will also be sending you a pack of the paper blooms in cut to six by six designer series paper to go with your fabulous new stamp set. Okay, got those off to the side. Oh, this is my in symmetry paper. Now, you guys remember that last week 
I made a bunch of cards using the color and contour. And I'm just going to unload my basket here while I'm chatting with you so that I can figure out, I don't know what that's in there for, figure out what I'm doing here. I made this up as soon as I got done with Facebook Live last Sunday. So it's been like a whole week. Bear with me. You know I'm very forgetful. Let's see if I can remember what I was supposed to do here. Because <laughs> it's, it's a real problem. The struggle is real. Okay, if you remember, let me grab a couple of these out of here. Oh, here we go. I said that, oh, I had a blog hop. That's what it was. I had a blog hop, I think, with the Creative Inking Blog Hop team, the design team. And I made these cards. And in that video, look at how pretty they are, right? There are four different colors. Let's see if I can get the last one out here. Aren't they pretty? I said that I would make a box to hold all of these on my Facebook Live tonight. So, um, and if you recall, look what I did to the envelope flaps. I ran them through that stitched greenery die just on the flaps. So each flap has the die on there. Isn't that pretty? How very, very elegant, right? So anyways, on that blog hop, I said that I would be making a box tonight for all of these cards to fit in and decorating it. So you can have like a whole little gift set idea. So right now, hang on, I'm going to get my cards put in an acetate box. And I think that we are probably ready to turn this camera around. Let me see. Um, I've got, I need to get some black ink. Just hang on a second. Come over here and get some black ink. And I think now we're ready to turn the camera around. Are we ready to stamp? Are you ready to roll with this? I hope so, because it's going to be a lot of fun. Hang on. And let me turn this around. Did you guys want to see the bowl? Hang on a second, I'll show you the bowl. Ready? There's the bowl. Right there. We've got the unicorn and the bull. And that's the thing I was talking about that people are riding and it's hysterical. Okay, back to stamping. <laughs> I just thought I would share that with you because it is so very funny. Okay, I just want to make sure this is straight and get you plugged in. I don't want anybody throwing up. Nobody likes that. Okay, you guys, this is my blog address. It's also my email address if you take this off and put Kelly and the at symbol, a stamp above.com. So if you ever need to get in touch with me, please feel free to email me. This is my current host code. I always appreciate your orders. So if you're going to place an order and it's under $150, please use this code right here. And you can find this on my blog in the right-hand column or at the bottom of every single blog post. You'll, you'll find this. There's a place to put it in when you place an order. And that really helps me out. And that's how I get the free items that I can send you for door prizes and, and other things like that. So that's where they come from. All right, back to our box. Now, these are the clear acetate boxes. And you get 20, no, 10. 10 of these in a pack for $7. And all you do, they're all scored for you. I'm gonna show you just how simple this is. You fold down those score lines and you put your boxes together. It's just this easy. They, they're the most amazing little boxes. And I love these for gift giving because I love to make sets of cards to give to people, okay? So that's how you put your box together. It's exactly what I did here with my whole set of color and contour cards. And I used this bundle. These are This is the color and contour, and these are the contour scalloped, scalloped contour dies. Great set of dies with all of these scalloped rectangles. And then some flowers. Okay, so what I decided to do with this, I've got two things to show you. We're gonna get our box here. I took a piece of the, um, 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 what's it called? Party Pattern Designer Series paper. Let me see if I have one of my little Designer Series paper sheets with this in it. I don't 
think I've done one with this. Hang on. Nope. Okay, let me grab it. That's not it. Oh, here it is. So this is the really cool paper. It's pretty. Colors on one side are patterns and black and white on the other side. So you've got all of these. One side is a pretty color or pattern or both, and the other is black and white. This is available when you place a $150 order. You can choose this as your Stampin' Rewards, and a lot of people are very confused about this. This is where it's at in the catalog. It is a host-only item on page 171. It's only $18. There's 48 different sheets. You get four of each pattern of these double-sided papers. For $18, it has a value of $30. So, who said that, Elaine? I'm so dumb I had to have my daughter help me get that box together. But once you got it together, now it's like a cinch, right? <laughs> Don't be too hard on yourself. We can't all be perfect, right? Like, perfect isn't, that doesn't exist. Don't worry, Elaine. I've done silly things like that myself. Okay, so I took a piece of this designer series paper, and let's see, I didn't write down my measurements. I've got three by 11, okay? Three by 11, this pattern. And I chose this pattern because we've got that, this is the sneak peek. Oh, goodness, hang on, you guys. My, my camera just fell down. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can get this back up here. Technical difficulty, hang tight. Well, that was really funny. <laughs> Did you go, Rrr. Okay, we're back in business. Whew. Okay, anyways, um, this is a sneak peek. This is some ribbon coming out in our holiday mini catalog, and it is a black and white gingham. That's why I chose this piece. So three by 11. And then what I like to do is I like to kind of center it over whatever I'm going to do. I'm going to create a belly band here. So I centered it over my box just by eyeballing it, pulled it around each side, and I kind of like to do this on the edges and then pull it off and fold it and make sure that it's good and straight. See how this is crooked right here? I'm going to force it to be straight. There we go. And then I would put it back on here and I would go like this and if you want to you can measure it and do all that but this is so much easier right now I've already got this other side done so let me just force that to be lined up properly there we go okay I'm gonna grab some tear and tape because I love tear and tape it is my friend and this is gonna go like this. So I'm gonna put my tear and tape right here on one side. Oops. We had a, um, one of Anna's friends here today that is due with a baby any day. And oh my goodness, she's one of those girls that you just hate. No, I'm just kidding. When you look at her from behind, you can't even tell she's pregnant. That's how stinking cute she is. Yeah. Her belly looks like a huge basketball. It is just hysterical. But I feel bad for her because it's super hot and humid here and oh, being that pregnant. Rrr. Okay, I peeled the back off the tear and tape and I wanted a band wide enough to kind of cover up everything I have going on under here. So I'm gonna pull this nice and snug. And if you want to, you could put some glue dots underneath here so it doesn't slide around, but I've got mine pretty tight. So we're gonna keep this super simple. Now I'm going to, um, just like the cards that are in here, I used this particular die. Oops, get out here. Use this particular rectangle right here and I die cut this on basic white. So we're gonna be using that. This is a really great bundle. It's, you'll love it. You're, you're gonna love it, I just know you are. If you don't have it, it's one of those that you should get. Okay, oh goodness. Oh, here's my stamp set. I'm like, where's my stamps? 
Okay, so I thought since I'm looking for some type of a label to put on the box, I'm gonna use the sentiment that says, you're absolutely amazing. And I'm going to go right over here with that. Perfect. And then I've got a piece of the um, Fresh Freesia. I keep wanting to call it Purple Posy, but don't let me do it. I'm going to use black ink on this flower, and this is the same flower I used for all the cards in this gift set. And I'm using Memento ink, if I didn't say that, I apologize. We're going to stamp that on here. Ta-da! And, where did this other one go? We're going to grab the die so we can cut these flowers out. Now, last time on the cards, when I made all these cards, let me grab one here for you. There we go. I stamped the flower on white, and then I used the two-step stamping from the stamp set, because this fills in this, this fills in this. I use, Oh, and this fills in that one. I used the two-step stamping and I stamped that Fresh Freesia in the flowers. Well, this time I'm just stamping my flowers with black on Fresh Freesia paper. So we're going to die cut this. And then through the magic of TV, I have already done that. So let me put this back. And we're going to get our card back in here. Hang on a second. Oh, I don't want to wreck the cards that are in here by you know, smooshing this down on top of it. So hang on. I should have thought about taking this out of there, but I wanted you to see it. Okay, there we go. Woo. Now we are going to take this and put this right on the front here. Yep. And let's see. I think I'm going to just use some glue. This, this is just in my head. So I haven't actually made this box yet. But this was my idea. We're gonna center this on our little belly band. And now I'm gonna take some mini dimensionals. Those are big ones. Here's some minis. And oh, we're gonna do this and this. Maybe, oops. <laughs> we just got the backing off there. One right here, and then I'm gonna cut some little slivers so that this is a little bit more stable. So I like the mini dimensionals because they have really thick edges on them, which is perfect for doing this. And I'm just going to stabilize the stem a little bit with the dimensional. And then we'll do this other one. There we go. Okay, we are ready. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so stinking cute, right? And then we're just gonna put this right on here. Cute, cute. And then, why not hit it with a little wink of Stella, right? Cause that's just gonna be, oh, hang on. I haven't used this in a while. There we go. Let me change my glasses back because now I can, I don't need to read my phone anymore. <laughs> so it helps me see a little better. I really do need to get to the eye doctor and um, make some things happen. There's that little script. I'm just gonna, there we go. Get that moving along a little bit. I need to go get some new glasses so I don't have to keep switching them out. It's kind of dumb, isn't it? <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that sparkle looks on there. I can hold it up and I can see where I missed a little bit. Mm, so pretty. Okay. And where's my... I've got some rhinestones here. And I want one of these little ones. So let me... Do I have some other ones? Oh yeah, I have some open ones here already. Hang on. I think what I'd like to do is grab one of these little ones and I'm going to put it right here for my dot on my eye. Isn't that cute? Just that little bit of bling. So now we have this entire little gift set of cards 
to give to someone. And I have to think of what am I going to do with these. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All these pretty envelopes with the flaps. Now, this was the stitched greenery. I had somebody email me this week and say, where did, where did, where do I find this? If you go to my online store and just type in stitched greenery, this is going to come right up in a search. And then here's our cute little box. What do you guys think? Um, Pam is asking if the wink of Stella, can it get clogged? Well, that's a great question. I have never had that happen, but you know, it, I guess it's a possibility. And um, I think what I would do, Pam, is I would open this up. Let's take a little look-see. And gosh, if yours is clogged, I might try pouring some rubbing alcohol in there. Something like that that would maybe break up any type of clog. I have never had that happen before. And I've had Winkostella for a long time. But I mean, it, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's certainly possible. But I've never had it happen. So that's a great question. I'm glad you're asking that. All right, let me grab my little basket here. Thank you guys so much for the hearts. Make sure you click on that like button. That really helps me in all of the fancy internet analytics. It is greatly appreciated. Okay, I'm going to move this stuff off to the side because we have other fabulous things to make tonight. I'm so excited to be sharing these ideas with you. Okay, this is going to go, keep that over there, I can put this away, and then we'll bring these back out at the end in case somebody comes in late so they can see what we have been up to tonight. All right, next up, this card is going to be very easy, and what I really love about it is it really features the designer series paper. So we are going to be using the Sweet Symmetry. Again, this is on sale, the designer paper, so I always recommend buy two. Um, that way you don't have to feel chintzy about using one pattern that's your favorite or whatever. You've got lots of it then. Yeah, I see a lot of people saying mine have never clogged it. Like I said, I've never had that happen. I'm sure that, you know, as with anything liquid, I guess it could happen. Run some rubbing alcohol through. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have my strawberry lemonade. I was drinking some of the um, unsweetened iced tea today. I like to switch back and forth between those. And I had to take some um, ibuprofen today. My teeth hurt. Like weird places. Like one tooth on the top over here and one tooth on the bottom there. It was, I don't know what's going on, but ibuprofen took care of it and I was able to eat plenty of my banana cream dessert. Don't worry. We had hamburgers today and um, I was going to say homemade lettuce. Huh, Kelly, that's interesting. Um, homegrown lettuce from Scott and Anna's garden. Molly says it's, she's been growing lettuce, so it was her lettuce. And um, hamburgers and hot dogs and sweet corn from the hillbilly sweet corn guy. And it was just delicious. Okay, back to our card. Enough about all that lunch. Oh, yeah, that's a really good question. Who just asked that? Chris Wood. Chris, when you first get a wink of Stella, there is a ring, a black ring in here. And you unscrew this, you take the black ring off and throw it away and then screw this back on. I'm hoping that you did that. So that I forgot I forgot about that, Chris. Thank you for that reminder. But maybe that's why your wink still isn't working. I don't know. Ooh, we got Dawn with the white claw. Yeah. Cynthia with nothing. <laughs> Some Dr. Pepper. Um, Lisa wants me to share the recipe. I will share the recipe because I got it right off Pinterest. Um, I do have to tell you, though, it calls for Cool Whip, and I use whipping cream and made my own. It also calls for vanilla wafers, and I used um, graham cracker crumbs instead, and I did make my own homemade pudding. <gasps> the best. Have you? If you've never made pudding, it's super simple. In this recipe, you're going to love it. 
Okay, I will share that. When I'm done tonight, I will share my recipe with you guys because it was delightful. Okay, let's, can, should we stamp now? <laughs> this is Bumblebee. And of course, it is one of the coordinating colors with the Sweet Symmetry Designer Series paper. I've got five and a half by eight and a half. Then I've got a piece that's four by five and a quarter, same stuff. And let's see, I've got a white layer, same, four by five and a quarter for the inside. And I think we're gonna do, let's see, uh, where is, here we go. Um, we are going to use some Flirty Flamingo. Oh, here's my Night of Navy, okay. Night of Navy and Flirty Flamingo ink. And this inside layer, I'm going to stamp this up first. So we're going to do Flirty Flamingo. Well, we should, oh, let me see. We're going to do the little stem. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Hang on. Hmm. Maybe I want to do a little flower. Yeah, I think I'll do the little one. So I'm going to do Flirty Flamingo. And I'm going to stamp that right here. Isn't this the cutest little flower? And then I'm going to do a Knight of Navy stem. Just like that. And then I want these little leaves. So there's big leaves. These look like, it looks like a whale tail, doesn't it? Big leaves and little leaves. And I'm going to do the little leaves right here with navy. And I'm carrying through the color that's used on here. So that's why I'm doing navy leaves. So let's get that out of the way. This is going to be the inside of our card. So we have that decorated up pretty. And we can get that right in here. I love this stamp set. It's like so bright and fun and the images are really super cute. Where did it go? Right here. Let me show it to you. How about if I show it to you? This comes in a bundle. You can order this separately, but it is in a bundle right now with the um, Symmetrical Stems Border Punch. So this is a bundle together. This is my kit class for the month of July. And like I said, I'm gonna be getting those together and getting those out in the mail this next week. All right, next up, we have um, designer series paper and I'm going to use this bumblebee side and this is two and a half by five and a quarter and then I've got one and a half by five and a quarter of the other side and I'm going to add this to the front of my card so I'm going to put this big one up here now, you could tape these two together and skip this extra layer, but I just think it makes things so much easier if you have something to mount the designer paper on. So this is kind of like a fake layer. Nobody's gonna see it, okay? So we're gonna do that. We're gonna put this one down here. This particular card, I'm letting my designer paper do all the work for me because it's just so pretty. But this card is gonna be super quick and easy. Should I get that lined up right? There we go. And then, uh, where'd my ribbon go? Hang on, I had it. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, I gotta show you one more thing about the boxes. I knew I would forget to do this. Do you guys see my ribbon in place? Huh. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this. And I am going to take this pretty flirty flamingo ribbon. And I'm going to just tape this around here to cover that seam. That's exactly what I'm doing. Covering up that seam on the paper. Okay, super easy. Then I've got this little layer and this is three quarters by about three and a quarter. We're gonna get out our Versamark ink and our white embossing powder. You know, I've been embossing quite a bit more lately, which is interesting because we kind of didn't emboss for a long time. I'm gonna use the Best Day Ever stamp from the In Symmetry. And I'm going to 
stamp that. I think I said Versamark, right? With Versamark. And then we're going to put some white powder on there. So you can just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Make sure you close this up and close up your ink pad before you do any heat setting because holy moly, you will make a big mess. And then I'm going to use my take your pick tool just to hold this down. I did not do this ahead of time, you guys. So we're going to work our way through this. I know lots of times I have this stuff all ready ahead of time, but I kind of forgot about this. Ooh, I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I'm going to have to turn my fan on. We did turn our air on in the house because it's been pretty hot and muggy the last couple days, but my office gets kind of still. I don't have a ceiling fan. Okay, heat tool, best day ever. And then, let's see, I've got my banner pick-a-punch. You can use your scissors to flag the end of this, whatever works for you, but I'm going to use my punch since I have one. I love that it has three channels in here. You can do a half inch, three quarter, and one inch with either this end or this end. And I'm gonna use this one. I like to turn this over and see the other side so I know what's going on here. I'm gonna pull it back just a little bit. Boom, perfect. Okay, next up, we're going to take that border punch. And in this case, I just want a couple Night of Navy sprigs, so. Punch those and make these cute little leafy deals. And I am going to. Oh, hang on, I'm going to turn my fan on. Whew. There we go. Nobody wants Kelly to melt, right? <laughs> Yes, who said that? Somebody said it's so cool to see the powder melt. It is, it's like magic, isn't it? Hey, where did my other one go? Oh, there it is. All right, here we go. Um, we are going to put some dimensionals on here. Now, I could put some big dimensionals on here, but instead I'm going to use mini dimensionals so we can hopefully straddle this ribbon because I don't like it when my layers are um, stuck to the ribbon and they kind of move around. Does that make sense? I just, that's, some, that's one of my pet peeves. So I'm gonna put these really close, top and bottom of my little banner layer, and we'll see how well I do. All right. Get these off of here. Now I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna put this right on here absolutely adorable. Again, letting the paper do the work for me. I'm going to grab my little spriggy deals. I'm going to put one right about there. And Margaret says she hasn't been using a fan, just a heater. Really? Yeah, we only want the powder to melt. Who said that, Diana? Thank you. Nobody wants a melting Kelly. Okay, so I just put those on there as some little embellishments. Now, we're going to add this to the front of our card, and just to give it a little extra pop here, I'm going to use dimensionals. Oops, hang on. A little backing here that came off. There we go. Okay, and we'll do one more right there. Now you can make up a whole set of these cards whoops, quite easily. And again, it'd make another great gift set, right? So we can get this on here straight. That looks pretty good. Next up, I want a bow. So we're gonna take this and we are going to Gonna leave enough tails here to get a nice bow tie. I love, love, love this beautiful ribbon with the metallic fleck in it, weave or whatever you wanna call it, it's really pretty. And it matches so nicely with the colors in the paper. 
And that's one of the things I love about Stampin' Up! is all the color coordination. Okay, there we go. That looks like a really decent little bow there. I'm going to trim this off. Trim this off. Yay! Okay, last but not least, we need some embellishments. These elegant faceted gems are part of the kit that you get. And I am going to use the white ones. There's white and peach colored ones or pink colored ones and then clear. I'm going to use the um, white ones. Oh, do I want to use the white ones? No, I, you know what? I think I want to use the peachy colored ones, which are kind of, hang on. Yep, I'm going to go with these right here. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, so here's a couple. Here's another one right there. And then you get a lot of them on a card. So I'm going to put a little bit of bling bling right down here. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah, beautiful. Now, I want a matching envelope because when I mail this card in all its glory and beauty, I want my recipient to have some fun as soon as they open their mailbox. So I've got, hang on, my hair is blowing in my mouth. I've got um, a piece of designer paper here, and this is two and a half by six. And we're just going to put that glue on that envelope flap. There we go. And we're gonna do our trim around there. You know, I always figure as long as I have all of these supplies, I need to make things as pretty as possible because it's what I do. It's what we do as stampers is we make everything look pretty. Look at that, right? Look at how cute that card is, so simple. Very, very easy. Okay, so that's my first in symmetry card. What do you guys think? Pretty easy, right? There's not, it's not hard. Your paper's doing your work for you. All that beautiful color coordination. Now I'm going to clean up my mess here a little bit. And clean my stamps. How many of you have a chamois like this one? I think this is the greatest thing ever invented for cleaning stamps. It is just the bomb. Love this thing. Okay, let me get these back over here, out of my way so I know what I'm doing. Okay, we're gonna set this aside. I'll set this with the other box over there so we can bring it back in. In case you come in late, don't worry, I'll bring everything back out. Oh, don't let me forget to show my mail today too. I've got some beautiful, beautiful cards to share with you. All right, next up, we are going to be making, I promised you guys, an interlocking fold card. Oh, before we go any further, let's go back to this box. So as I was trying to figure out um, different ideas, oh, look how this slid down. Yeah, so you could put mini glue dots under there to hold this in place if you wanted to. But as I was trying to figure out an idea to make the box to go with my beautiful little cards, guess what else I did? I took that stitched greenery die and I put it through on the box and it put all the stitched elements into my acetate box. Now, it ran through my machine really hard because you've got two layers. You're gonna flatten this, of course, right? You're gonna flatten this down. You've got two layers of acetate going through, which is thicker than a piece of cardstock. Yeah, but look at how cool that is. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> so this was another idea I had. I didn't finish it, but I would probably put a belly band around this also. But isn't that cool? I just thought I'd share that with you guys that you can do that. So there you go. All right, now back to our regularly scheduled program. I promise you guys a fun fold tonight. So here is what I have. Hang on, I gotta get my little cheat sheet out here. 
get all my little layers going. So you guys know that I do a lot of card swapping, right? That's one of the really cool things you can do when you join my team is um, we have a monthly swap every month. And I love to do swaps because that's where I get really great ideas for all of these cards that I make. Well, not all of them. I mean, swaps are great because you can get ideas from them. How about that? I'll just say that. Okay, this is my card base. This is gonna be an interlocking card. I think you guys are gonna love this. This is my card base. This is five and a half by, or I'm sorry, eight and a half by five and a half, just like normal. And <laughs> Wendy says, I love the stitch leaves. However, all I can think of is my quilted Charmin. Well, hey, you've got good taste in toilet paper, my friend. <laughs> okay, we've just folded and burnished that edge. Now, we are going to find my paper trimmer. Here it is. We've got a piece of basic white that is five by eight. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it into your paper trimmer and you are going to score at two, four, and six, okay? All right, let's see, we're gonna grab this and this and all of those. Now there's, there's several pieces to this, don't let that throw you. We are going to take this die from our stitched rectangles and we're going to die cut it out of just jade. We're going to take, I believe, is this the one that I want? Yep. This die, which is the um, one, two, three, the fourth one from the, from the smallest. And we're going to die cut this out of bumblebee. This out of my way. Whoops, don't want to lose any of these. And get my hair out of the film, right? Okay, so once we do this, we're going to have this little piece right here. We're going to have this little piece right here. Okay, boom, boom. Then we are going to take our card and we're going to die cut the same size out of the front of it. So let me get a little temporary tape because it's important that this is straight and that you eyeball it and center it really good. Okay, do this and this. I'm gonna open this up and run it through my machine. Hang tight. Oops, hang tight. I've got things falling all over. Oops. And I just moved my die. Take a drink. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whew. Let me see if I can get this out. There we go. Okay remove that temporary tape, put this back on my machine. Now, the neat thing about these rectangle dies is they not only give you the stitching on the piece that you die cut, but also on the piece that's left behind. Can you see that? So it's pretty cool, right? We're gonna save this for something else. We don't necessarily need that one. But now we're going to start assembling our card. Okay, this piece is going to go like this. You're going to just accordion fold these just like that. And then this last one is going to get folded back. So hang on and I'll show you this in just a second. Just like this. Okay, 
So we've got this one, this one, this one, and this one gets folded back. Now, I took a little piece of designer series paper. This is one and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. And I'm going to add this right in here, but not before we stamp. So let's see, what are we gonna stamp in here? You are perfectly unique. What else do I have here? Hey friend, thanks so much. I think I'll use, well, I like this. You are perfectly unique. It's just a really fun little font. I am going to grab my Calypso Coral. Ooh, I need Just Jade also, so let me think about this. Yep, Calypso Coral. These are Just Jade. I think I'm gonna go with the Calypso Coral. I'm going to stamp my sentiment right over here. And then there's also a little heart with this particular stamp set, and I'm going to stamp that in Just Jade. Isn't that cute? Look how cute that is. Okay. And now we're going to add our designer paper. I didn't want to glue it on here until I got this stamped because what if you mess it up, right? Then I just wasted this piece of designer paper. But I guess if I bought two packs, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But let's not just be frivolous with the designer paper, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've got that. Next, we're going to take, let's see, this is just a little scrappy doodle. This is from my front. What else do I need here? I think I need, hang on, I think I'm missing a piece. All right, we're gonna use a three quarter inch little piece to put our hey friend on. And I'm going to stamp that in the Calypso Coral and we're gonna do it as close to the right side as possible, just like that. Now, this little layer that we have right here, I want to fold this edge over. And I'm gonna show you where I got this idea from because this is not, I mean, I'm making a card that's different than the one that I got in a swap. But I did get this idea from one of my friends. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this off pretty close to the hay friend. Okay, so here we go. And now I'm going to add this to my little layer. Okay, and now I want a score line right next to this white one. So I'm gonna just score that a little bit. And I want that to kind of fold over. Okay, it's just kind of a neat little element. And this is what my friend did. So it's what I'm doing also. All right, then we're gonna stamp that little flower on the white piece. I've got this and this and this. And then we're also going to use that. Oh, here's a white scrap. Hang on, I've got hair stuck to my stamp. Okay, so my friend Candy made the original card, by the way. And this is just a little circle that is die cut out of the Pierced Blooms dies. Okay, just a little tiny circle. And it's actually, if you have this set of dies, it's these right here. They're not perfectly circular, but they're really cute looking. And so I am going to stamp my flower right here, and then I'm gonna stamp the center of that flower, hopefully in the center of this little circle. Let's see how I did. Pretty close. Um, when you die cut this, you get two of these. <laughs> I'm gonna try it again, because why not? Let's 
see how I did on this one. I'm oh, pretty good. Okay, here we go. Just Jade is going to be our leaves. And I'm going to stamp that right down the center here. And then I need it to go longer. So I'm just gonna keep going like that, okay? Then this little piece is gonna go right in here. So I need my leaves to be right about there. Perfect. I'm gonna put this on a dimensional. My goodness, I keep getting more dimensionals than I want. I'll put this right in the center there. Cute, right? Um, I am going to grab one of my clear little faceted gems to go in the center there. And does anybody know? And I'm looking for my tear in tape. Does anybody see? Oh, here it is. Here's our tear and tape. I'm going to use just a tiny bit of this to keep the folded edge of this little layer or element down. Because that's folded like that, it's always going to want to pop back up. And so I want to make sure that it is not coming back up. Look how cute that is, right? Okay, let's get these put together. This layer, by the way, is one and three quarters by three and an eighth. And then I've got this layer is two by three and three eighths. And we're going to add these two together. So we're just layering, layering, layering by eighth inch. Isn't that pretty? Yay! Okay, let me get these out of the way. Then we are going to take this and add it to the bumblebee layer. And I think that's another thing that makes this card so spectacular is all the layers and it's just cardstock. Actually, you could just make it from scraps pretty much. And then we need to put this inside of our card. Okay, so here comes this. We are going to glue this right here and we're gonna leave pretty much the same margin going on here. Hang on do a dry fit and then I'll show you exactly what I'm doing here. Okay, that's going to be right. Okay, so see what I've got going on in here? We're going to glue this down right here. And again, this is an interlocking card. And if you hold it just like this, you're going to do the same on the top, the bottom, and the right margin. Okay, so same, 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 right here. That's all we're looking at. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this all the way into the fold. So we're going to add a little bit of glue right here. Okay. And maybe a little bit right up here at the top. There we go. We're going to close our card. Now, you're going to have to probably come back and watch this again. You can fast forward and rewind, but this is what happens. This is what it looks like. Okay. Isn't that cool? Not yet, right? You're like, what the heck are you doing, Kelly? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this and set it right back in here. We're only going to glue it to this side right here. So we're only putting glue 
on this half of this window area, okay? And we're gonna just set this right back in here like a puzzle piece. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited to show this to you because it's so cool. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. And this is your card. It's called an interlocking fold. At least that's what I know it as. Did you see how easy that was? Other than layers, layers, layers. I love all the layers. You could do a circle in the front. Um, you could do any type of a shape here. This just happens to be a rectangle. What do you guys think? Ah! I love this. Okay, so I wanna put some more embellishments. Oh. Wait, we're not done. We have to do this yet. So let's get this on here. This is our little sentiment on the front. And I'm going to add that with some dimensionals. Let's finish up our card, Kelly. We got so excited about the fold because, you know, this looks kind of dumb right here. <laughs> so we're going to do this. And we're going to leave this stick out on the side just a little bit, okay? Now, is that going to get in the way of anything? Nope, look at that. All right, and then I am going to use just a little bit. Oh, hang on. mangled my roll of ribbon it wouldn't come out of my ribbon holder okay so I'm gonna take just a little piece of this seam binding this is our crinkled seam binding and I'm just gonna tie it in on knot oh probably a little bit smaller than that I just need a little finish up here and this is what candy used on hers and I really like it a lot and I need mini glue dots. Oh, which are right here. Little mini glue dot. Um, here we go. I'm gonna roll this up a little bit. Put that right here. Okay, now I'm gonna trim this up a little bit better. And then I'll show you the original card because it's really, really cute. Um, how about some more gems? We've got one up there. We used the clear ones, so I'm going to follow through with that. And we're going to use some more clear ones on here. And as long as we have these, why not? Because there's lots of them on a card. There, look at that. Ah, he, he, he. Love this, love this. Oh, we've got lots of ideas coming in. Yeah, the ribbon knot really finishes the card off. It needed just a little bit, little bit more, right? Now, I used the two and a half by six and made a matching envelope for this. Okay, so we've already got that done. Do you wanna see the original card? This is from my friend, Candy Michael. And she just used different colors. She's got Just Jade with Knight of Navy print and Flirty Flamingo. Knight of Navy is her card base. And here is the inside of her card. Now I decided to add another panel of designer paper in here. And I think this one looks beautiful without it, but this looks beautiful with it too, don't you think? What do you guys think about that? Very, very cool. So we've got the stitched rectangle dies. Those are amazing. Big shout out to Kathy Miller. Thank you for dropping yours off today because I can't find mine right now. And I don't know what happened to them. They should be in with the rest of my dies and they're not and it's making me crazy. And she's like, I'm running to town. You wanna use mine? I'm like, thank you so much. You are my just my savior most of the time. So stitched rectangle dies. We've got the In Symmetry, which is my July kit class. 
So I'm going to be cutting those tomorrow and getting those out in the mail this week. Beautiful, beautiful. Here is another card made with the stitched in, in symmetry, it's called. So we've got that. And again, this is called an interlocking, some type of an interlocking fold. Now, with the kit that I have, it's $40. And I think for an additional $35, you can add on... Yeah, for an additional $35, you can add on the stamp set and the punch if you don't have it. You're definitely going to need that. Um, you're going to get a half a pack of the designer paper. You're going to get a pack of these, a roll of this, and enough cardstock cut to make eight cards, four different designs. Okay, and then we have the box that I made to go with my blog hop cards using the color and contour with the stitched greenery. And don't forget stitching on that acetate box. You can run this through your die cutting machine and put this on here. <laughs> Elaine says, Kathy is a terrific gal and a very talented stamper. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Kathy has actually been on my team longer, the longest of all my team members. Kathy was my number one person that joined my team way, way back when. I've been doing this for, I don't know, 17 or 18 years. Crazy, right? Okay, let me move some of this stuff out of the way, you guys, because I have beautiful mail to share with you. Oh, we don't have a lot this week, so let me share with you. Oops. Oh, I wanted to show you the beautiful envelope flap. I accidentally tore the whole thing off, but isn't that gorgeous? See, this is what I'm talking about, getting that pretty in your mailbox. Now, this one is from... Sherry Simon, look at this cool card. Uh, this die is really just fascinating. Very, very cool. Hope you enjoy a wonderful day together. Oh, this was an anniversary card for me and Steve. Blessings for many more years together. Isn't that sweet? Happy anniversary. Very cool, Sherry. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Mary Stroman. <gasps> Beautiful. Look at this pretty card. It says, it was so exciting to win a stamp set that I had my eye on. Thanks for all you do. It's great to be on your team. And Mary, you are very welcome. I'm so glad you're on my team. Next up, Kim Laguerre. I hope I say your name right. Look, she used this same type of thing going on here. Isn't this pretty? Um, thank you for the happy mail I received a few months ago. Um, oh, her dad passed away. I don't even remember which drawing it was. I also want to thank you for putting out the request. Oh, I had a request to send her mom cards after her dad passed away. And she said that that was um, really, really super to do that. And you are so welcome, Kim. Thank you so much for the beautiful card. And last but not least, you guys, I have Jan Fortin sent me this cool card. I really like this layout. Great way to use up scraps, right? Very, very cool. Thank you for the Baker's 20 Central Pack. You award it as a door prize for attending the team meeting. Every month I have a meeting for my team. And it's on a Zoom, so everybody can attend no matter where they live. And then when you attend the meeting as it's live, you get entered in a drawing for door prizes. So she says, I greatly appreciate the many ways you support and encourage me as a part of your team. Stamp on, Jan. Jan, thank you so much. You guys are just so sweet. Absolutely love these beautiful cards. Now I am going to be posting pictures of these with all the dimensions on my blog. Um, I should be able to get that done tonight, so watch for that. And again, my blog address is right here. So anytime you have a question, whoops, sorry, you guys. Anytime you have a question about anything that I've made, you're going to find still photos, all the dimensions, um, and a link back to this video on my blog within a day or so of my Facebook Live. 
This is my current host code. If you plan on placing an order, I always appreciate your orders. Please use this code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up. I definitely want you to have those. Now, if your order is over $150, that's when you can order this big pattern party pack of paper. Amazing. Um, if you're playing bingo with me on Wednesday, you're gonna get a quarter pack of this paper. I'm so excited for you. This is what we're designing the bingo cards around. So you wanna make sure to watch bingo, whether you're registered or not. The class is free to the public. It's gonna be on a YouTube Live. You're gonna see the um, link for it on this Facebook page. Wednesday night, I think it at, starts at 7 p.m. Central Time. I'll be posting more information about that, but I just wanted to let you know that. And don't forget, we have a new mini catalog that starts August 3rd. You'll, you can see Val's handy little artwork here on my mini catalog. <laughs> also, celebration, August 3rd through September 30th. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, <clears throat> excuse me, I would love to earn your business. I would be happy to mail these to you. You definitely want to have them. There's some amazing, beautiful ideas in both of these catalogs. So you can reach me at Kelly at symbol a stamp above .com. All right. Did I miss any questions? Cynthia says she really likes the fun fold and she is going to give it a try. I hope you will, because as you can see, it's pretty easy. And I didn't even know this was a fun fold. It was in a clear envelope. I had no idea it was a fun fold till I took it out of the envelope today. Oh, and that reminds me, I have a bunch of other cards to share with you using this particular uh, bundle. So let me show them to you guys. For those that left early, they're gonna miss out. Too bad. Thanks for sticking with me, everybody. <laughs> Here's one that uses just the stamp set. There's no designer series paper. Um, here's another beautiful one. This was made by Sarah Simon. She's one of my team members, gorgeous. This was one I got in a swap and isn't that pretty. That flirty flamingo and basic gray, love it. Or maybe, yeah, basic gray. Here's another one. Uh, this was made by Danny. She's also on my team. One of those fun folds, isn't that neat? Here is another one made by Kathy Miller. Let's see. Yep, beautiful, beautiful card. Love those little flowers. Here is another one. What? This is made by my friend Susie Wood. Little fun fold going on there. Another one by Kathy Miller using those new tag dies. Those are cool, right? And that stitched greenery in the background there. Yep. And here is one that I made for a Facebook Live last week or the week before. Again, with the fold matching envelope. And this is where I got the idea for this from. And I don't know, there's no... Um, no name on this, but isn't this cool? And again, fun fold. All right, you guys, let's see, do I have, I don't see any questions that I missed, yay. Okay, I am going to let you go so I can run and grab something to eat, like maybe some banana cream dessert and I'll share the recipe with you guys. Let me make myself a note right now. Hang on so I don't forget to do that. Banana, banana dessert. Okay, when I get back in here, I will share that recipe with you. You guys are gonna love it. It's fantastic. Make sure when you make it, that you don't do what I did. I put the cream cheese in with all the whipped cream and whipped it up. You're actually supposed to take a cup of the whipped cream and put it in with the cream cheese and whip that and put it on the graham cracker crumb crust. And then the rest of the whipped cream without cream cheese in it goes on the top of the dessert. But let me tell you, it was amazing. Either way, didn't matter. <laughs> okay, you guys, um, I do not know 
I will be back August 8th. I am not going to be live next Sunday because we are going camping with Haley and Jared and Molly and Steve and me. We're going to Lake Arbutus, which is kind of in the center of Wisconsin. It's something that we do every year and we are planning on having such a great time. Um, Steve bought a boat, you know, back in April that he put in the water once. I didn't get a boat ride this week either. So, but it's because we're just so busy. Summer is such a busy time. And who wants to go out on a boat when it's 90 degrees, when you can go jump in your pool in the backyard? Who wants to go sit in a boat and sweat? Or lots of our water around here right now, it's been so warm that the water is like not that great and you can get itchy from it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So thank you guys so much. We plan on having a very fun camping trip and we are borrowing a tube so we can pull a tube behind the boat from Scott and Anna. Yay, I can't hardly really wait. And it'll be my first time in the boat. So, well, this boat, anyways. All right, you guys, um, I will be back probably um, August 8th is when you're gonna see me back. Don't forget that new mini catalog starts on August 3rd and I'm hoping to have some videos to share some new ideas with you guys because I've been making tons of swap cards. So I'm hoping I'll be able to do that. Swimmer's itch, Pam says, that's it. The itchy thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you guys have a wonderful week. As always, thank you so much for spending some time with me tonight. I really appreciate it. I love spending Sunday evenings with all my stamping friends. Take care. Bye-bye.